Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here, and I want to share an important perspective on the 2016 presidential election, but make a point that is relevant to a far broader range of political issues and how the system is designed to make you less free. So recent headlines have been talking about how Hillary Clinton aides are all upset and nervous and who knows what else other crazy feels they've got about the polling going on right now and how close the race is going to be with Donald Trump. Now, a lot of people looked at this race early on and said, well, if Donald Trump's the nominee, it's really going to serve Hillary because she wants her opponent to be the most hated person possible. And it would make you think that, gee, maybe, maybe since, you know, Clinton and Trump have been longtime friends and allies. Maybe the whole thing was set up by Hillary Clinton that she got Donald Trump in there. So first I got to point out that while there are lots of these bigger influences on the political process, you know, they control who's able to get into the debates like, you know, Ron Paul was so uh, marginalized when he was running. They're able to control who gets on the ballot. They're able to control a lot of these things, but they want there to be a legitimate contest. They want there to be a competition for who gets to be the big sales front man for government in order to convince people that government is legitimate. They want there to be a legitimate contest. They want that vibrancy. But even more so relevant to what we're seeing right now is the effect of a close race between two of the most hated candidates in American political history. And a lot of people are looking at this, especially us libertarians, people who believe in freedom, who believe in ethics, that, you know, wow, this is a great opportunity. We've never had such hated candidates in the race. It's time for the third parties. It's time for the Libertarian Party to rise and have a breakout year and for Gary Johnson to be extremely successful. But this seemingly obvious dynamic is actually the opposite of what you would think in its effect. And here's why, really easy to understand. If there's a tight race, if it's like a, a very narrow margin between Clinton and Trump, well, you better not vote for the third party. You better vote for the lesser evil. Hmm. So you better vote for evil? You see how this is engineered to exploit you, to take advantage of the American people, to say, look, your vote really, uh, this is all it's good for. And if they wanted to make it this way, they could. They could totally engineer it. And you think it's, it's probably in Hillary's better interest that she be weak now. That, and you look at her campaign strategy against Donald Trump, it's not really that great so far. I think she's going to win because in the end, she's got more people behind her uh, in, the, in, the, in the elites. She's got more uh, advantage demographically. But it's not like people hate Hillary and Donald for the same reasons. They hate them for different reasons. Now, this would lead you to say, well, Donald Trump is a lot better because of this one thing, or Hillary Clinton's a lot better for this one thing. Ultimately, the reason I think Clinton is going to win is that the woman vote is going to be too strong. And when it comes down to it, they're going to go into the booths and most American women are going to fall for this basic entrapment of voting for the lesser evil as opposed to voting for the principled ethical candidate. So if you hate Donald Trump for this reason, you hate Hillary Clinton for this reason, there's going to be one that you hate one of them for a lot more than the other. And that's going to lead you into this trap of voting for the lesser evil. And it's, it, 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 it has a lot of legitimacy. This is why, so I'm going to, I'm going to free you right now from this little mental prison that they've built around our minds because they want you to believe, and this is true. And this is why it's such a dangerous trap. It is true that if you really think we need a wall with Mexico, if you don't believe in freedom of movement, if you really think that we need Hillary's, I don't, I don't know why you would think we need Hillary, whatever it is, you know, that there's some reason, you know, we have to have the first woman president, then you're going to be tempted to say like, well, let's vote in our short term interest. Mm -hmm. That's the trap is they can trick you into thinking this is in your short term interest because in a way it is. If you believe any of that crap about statism, then yes, it might be in the short-term interest of the country to elect Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. However, we find ourselves in the predicament that we do today because we as Americans have fallen for this trap for 
decades, if not centuries, in the way that the system has been engineered to serve those in power and keep us voting for evil. And then they go, oh, well, <laughs> the American people voted for this evil, so we're going to be evil. Now, in contrast... The Libertarian Party is based on the non-aggression principle, a, a concept of ethics. See, this is where you vote for lesser evil, you're always going to get evil. You're going to get something other than an ethical president. You're going to get someone who wants to preside, to govern, to rule you. And this is why it's so important, you'll hear me say this in a lot of the videos, is that they're all different flavors of statism. All of the mainstream candidates want to use the violence of government to control you, to control the American people, to exploit us, to serve the interests of their political patrons and the sponsors of the political system. So how do we break out of this? You have to embrace principle. I don't always vote, but when I do, it's for the ethical candidate. And in this case, it's Gary Johnson. So if you're going to vote at all, if you're going to even play into the system and you don't want to keep voting for evil year after year, election after election, you have to take a stand on principle. So I don't think millions of Americans are going to watch my little video, right, or this thing right here, and this is going to snap America out of this, this mental trap. But I, if you want, if you want to help us make long-term progress, please share this video and help people understand what's really going on. So if you can just say, you know what, I'm not like, I, I know there might be a difference between Clinton and Trump. One of them might be better. One of them might be more ethical. I don't even care because they're both unethical statists. They both want to use force and violence to control you. The libertarian message is, no, the non-aggression principle. You own yourself, therefore it's wrong to initiate force or violence against another human being. And if you actually embrace this in government, it would essentially mean that government cannot exist because to govern is to control. To control in the institution of government means by force, by violence, by coercion, by extortion, which is always the threat of violence. And if you want that, hey, keep voting for evil. But if you don't want that, if you want to help America break out of the cycle, help people see that when it comes down to it, there's no difference between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. If you really want change, even if you not like, and see, this is, a, well, don't throw your vote away. It's not throwing your vote away. It's making a long-term investment in American freedom and freedom for the world for that matter. So I hope you'll share this video. I, I hope you'll, you'll consider these ideas and how they relate to what's going on in 2016. If you're going to vote, vote only for ethical positions. If you can vote for a ballot measure that's reducing the coercion of government, if you can vote for a candidate who you know has a basic standard of ethics who's not going to violate the non-aggression principle, then go out and vote for them. But otherwise, stay home. Don't waste your time voting for evil if you're just going to go out and vote for evil. So I'm hoping that enough people see this video, enough people understand the importance of voting for Gary Johnson in 2016, that we do see a breakout year for the Libertarian Party. But it's only going to happen when people get past these arguments and escape these mental traps. If you enjoy this video, I hope you'll support me by going to thefreedomline.com and donating. This video, of course, is brought to you by our patrons on Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash Adam Kokesh and subscribe and become a monthly sponsor of our production, I would greatly appreciate it. And we will keep bringing this message of truth, freedom, and how to move humanity forward to you as much as we possibly can. Mwah. We'll talk to you tomorrow.